the first two Deadpool film would not be as popular as they are if the films ignored one of the major aspects of the character. And that's breaking the fourth wall and making fun of the franchise you're in and the situations you find yourself in. Well, it looks like Deadpool 3 will carry on that tradition because it's going to go after the MCU. So this comes at us directly from one of the writers of Deadpool 3. And it was further backed up by the second writer. So this is from Rhett Reese and Paul Vernick, who were talking to the post credit show. And they specifically talked about how in Deadpool, you know you're seeing something different because of what he's saying, what he's doing, and how he's making fun of and poking fun at the situation in the world he exists in. And of course, you know, if you look back at those films, you realize that there's a lot of that. Making fun of the recastings, the timeline, the continuity, and all that. Some are a little bit more subtle, some are a little bit more in your face. And they said that this is something that they are going to be keeping in the MCU. And that there is a treasure trove of things that they can make fun of in Deadpool 3. And they said that a lot of this comes from you drop Deadpool into the MCU, he's a fish out of water, and suddenly you have character X, you have character Y, and you have character C, and you can do whatever you want with them, the dialogue, but Deadpool will be a little bit more aware and realize that things aren't exactly normal. So again, I think if you look back at Deadpool 1 and 2, some of the humor really worked well. Some was a little too forced. I think Deadpool 2 fell into that trap a little bit more. But you definitely allow yourself the ability to be able to do whatever you want. And I think once you give it enough time and you know they do a couple revisions, you can still sort of break the fourth wall and make commentary about everything that's going on, but not have it you know get in your face and take away from the MCU. Because you can't have Deadpool just come out and go, oh, this is all a movie, it's fine, it's fine. It's like, ah, that doesn't work. But, hypothetically, if they get Chris Hemsworth in it, because they've been teasing, hey, maybe he'll appear there, or he wants to work with Deadpool, Deadpool versus Thor, and things like that. You could have Chris Hemsworth show up, and then have Deadpool comment about how he has a crush on Chris Hemsworth. You know, it's like, wait, who's that? It's like, oh, there's an actor in my universe that looks just like you. He actually played Thor. What? Ah, oh, yeah, multiverse concept. Okay, like, you can have fun like that without breaking too much of the, uh, you know, world that the MCU exists in. And I think that's what they're teasing here. 